Hey everyone, Shemim here and welcome back to another episode of our Motorsport Manager playthrough. Right, we are coming close to the end of the season now, only two races away as we look at a post-mortem of the previous race. It didn't go very well once again. Sam Bird was hit by Gomez. Do you have a message for the Brazilian driver? Um, it, was, it was Sam's fault. Sam did crash into him um, and he was given a stop and go penalty, so obviously it was Sam's fault. Uh, we did pretty well pit-wise. Um, no issues. How much would it cost us to get New Garden? <laughs> Not interested in joining us. Okay. Well, that's a shame, isn't it? Um, scouting wise, again, we've, we know Hoggard is good. Hoggard might be someone we can have a look at. Are we building anything? We're not building anything as yet, are we? So, again, we don't want to build a front wing because we know we're going to get a new one of those. Suspension, something we can have a look at, though. Medium corners, 20. That's a really good one as well. Um, that's a really good one. It's going to take an extra two days to build. We're going to get a lot of extras from that. I like that. That's really good, actually. That's a good part, that is. And uh, we could maybe do this one instead, but no, I think that's I think that's good. I'm happy with that. That's going to be a good suspension to put into uh, the car. We've got. We're going to push forward a few days then. Um, car repairs complete, which is nice. You're working on these parts, aren't you? Which is going to be done quite a chunk after the next race, but we have to do what we do. Car repairs are finishing. Sam Bird wants to leave Braun. Um, not interested. Don't blame him. Um, okay, that's interesting. He, he obviously had a very bad last race. He had a few issues which left him finishing one space ahead of us. And he's been one of the best drivers down there, to be honest. Um, so designing the suspension is now going to be finished. We can get that fitted into the car. Maybe not, because we're a little bit too far, far forward. Um, David Schumacher is a low quality driver in Formula 3. He does not have a huge amount of potential, so we shouldn't expect to see much of him. Okay, so it's another driver who's not that great. It's probably similar to what we've got, to be honest, to be honest with you. Um, I, I like the idea of maybe getting Hoggard in there at some point. He is a free agent, so we could do that and drop one of our drivers down as a, a reserve driver. Suspension built. It's only a good quality suspension. I thought it was a better one than that, to be honest, but... Is it better than this? It's not, is it? Oh. It's because I didn't put any great components on it, isn't it? It's actually... What, let's have a look and see what it, what it is. Um, it is... I know it is, but it's a lot better, actually, because it can... Once it's got the performance increase, it's going to be very, very good. It goes up to 103. So that is pretty good. Um, what are we going to go for? I mean, can we do anything with this? I mean, we can't access these because we don't have the benefits yet, do we? Um, so if I put that in there, that gives us a, a blue one, doesn't it? So I have to use this just to get the blue one. So I could do this and that gives us up to 93, but is that better than what we got? That's what I don't understand. Is that better than what we got? I think it will, it will unlock this level at least it's a lot though isn't it because we just we just did a suspension part didn't we hmm. okay, best part is great well, let's do it let's see what the difference is going to be let's see what it makes it out to be we want this one don't we spending a lot of money here I know but hopefully it's going to be beneficial in the long run going to be eight days away. That should be enough to get it ready for the next race. F2 we're off in Dubai. Yes, it is going to be enough time to get it for the next race. Um, we've got some more mail. Is that another scouting job? Um, Petr Pachak. Low quality of Formula 3. Doesn't have a huge amount of potential, so I shouldn't expect to see much of him. He's terrible, though. Um, shame, but there you go. So we scouted you, but you weren't very good either, were you? Wow, break contract, 2.499 million. Wow. I wouldn't mind uh, someone trying to break one of the contracts of my drivers if I got that much money from, I tell you. Right, Dubai for F2. Again, a full German front four. The Germans are really dominating F2. It's stupid, really. Right. Let's keep pushing forward then, get this new suspension in the car. 
We're going to get a another vote coming up in a couple of weeks as well. Uh, Formula 3 bosses will be voting on a rule change. We'll just see the championship prize made distribution and just in favour. Oh, please go for that. Please sign that off. I want a bit of that, I tell you. Right, so this is a great part now. So should we get that put in this car? It is better than everything else. So I'm assuming a great part is better than a good part, even though I would imagine so. So let's do that. Can we sell these? I'd like to be able to sell them for money, but obviously... Who's going to buy them, I suppose? Okay, so we're still doing that. That's going to be done until after the race. Yeah, I really want this um, this vote to go through. Not a lot of the votes have gone through so far. So Enzo is terrible as well. Absolutely shocking. Um, F1 in Yokohama. Only three races left for F1 as well. And it's a win. For, it's a 1-2 for Mercedes, which puts Hamilton back at the top of the Drivers' Championship. Um, and Verstappen's overtaken Leclerc in the Drivers' Championship as well. Interesting to see what happens at the end of the season with this and if anyone changes around. That was, that's what I'm interested in seeing as well. A lot of stuff like that. Right. Let's keep pushing forward then, I suppose. We're not going to design... We could design something new. I'm not sure if it's worth doing yet. Um, let's have a look. Is there anything worth it? I don't think there's anything worth designing at the moment. We've got great components on all of the on his car completely, so it might be worth just saving the money to the end of the season. Right, let us go for this vote. I really want this to work. I really want this vote to come through. Yes, Penxer says yes. Brauner said yes. Marcha said yes. It's going to go through, isn't it? Because I've said yes, so it's going to be a. There's going to be five for yes. There we go. Yes, Zach Speed said yes. You've said no. Yes. And then me. Yes, get in. Right, so... A large difference in prize money is now going to be spread around. You were supposed to finish 12th and you're finishing bang on. Well, we can't go any lower, really, can we? Right, so next season will be a lot more money on the go. So show next year's rules. There's a large difference between prize men at the top of the bottom, rewarding top teams with greater money than small teams. So next season, next season is going to be um, a bit better set around. Oh, F3. Nice. Prize fund, 480 million. We're going to get a large amount of money at the end of the season as well, based on our finishing position, hopefully. That'd be nice. Because then we can try and invest some stuff in the actual factory and everything and be able to start to try and bring some money in. So we're going back to the Black Sea. We've done Black Sea already once this season. We're going to go again by the looks of it. Four more bits of mail. We've got, um, obviously they want a simulator again, but we need to build the, the um, factory up first, which is a £10,000 improvement. Um, not worth talking about his potential because it's not very good again. He's not a bad driver though, actually. I mean, Hoggard's still the best one we've found, so it might be worth having a look at Hoggard. We'll go for 19th and above again, just to try and see if we can. Uh, Faith's still unhappy that Andre's got all the best parts. And we're back in Russia, and I'm going to remember not to skip this part. It's my favourite part of the whole race weekend, and I keep skipping it by mistake. There we go. Russia. Right, so this is going to be interesting. Black Sea GP. Of course, last time we were here, we got absolutely destroyed. So it's going to be fun to see what happens this time round. Looking forward to this. Right, so again, we're just going to skip. It's raining, is it? Yeah, looks like it's raining. We'll skip the practice session once again because at the moment it's pointless. Um, are you happy with your setups? Nope. Your downforce needs to come right down and your handling needs to come right down and your speed balance needs to come up. There we go, and you're going to go on... Might as well have inters, to be honest with you. Okay, and you um, just hand them down a little bit. There you go, and then we'll leave you on softs actually. We'll just have a bit of a mix and match and see what happens. Simulate the training session, of course, uh, didn't really matter because um, yeah, quite a few people have switched to Inters now, and Gomez switched to Inters as well, so I was right to go on the Inters in the first place. So it'd be interesting to see again, of course, in this race, right at the beginning of the season, we finished seven laps down, I think. It's quite a short lap by the looks of it. 
So hopefully this time round we will have a much better race than we did previously. Um, that's my plan anyway. So Gomez again is in 23rd. So he is ahead of Anthony. Which is what we should be seeing. Of course he's got even more new parts on there now. Anthony's had a few new parts on there as well though. Of course Anthony's been getting a lot of the good parts that, um, that Gomez did have. We're 10 seconds behind a lap still. Gomez is only slightly ahead. Definitely race speed's a lot better. We have got a few bow boosts on the stuff though, isn't it? That's race speed rather than actual um, practice or qualifying. So maybe that is the difference. I'm not sure. Right, what's the weather going to be like here? It looks dry at the moment. It is dry. Is it going to stay dry? It is going to stay dry. Good. And so we can auto pick and auto pick. Things we've got intermediate and wet tyres. We don't want that. We got well, obviously we learnt the wet and intermediate tyres over the weekend, but um, it doesn't really work, does it? Well, we might as well get intermediates because there's more chance of getting intermediate tyres than wet tyres. Although it's going to be neither, really, is it? Okay, car setups. Um, you're happy with your handling downforce needs a big tweak. Down to about there. Um, handling you are pretty happy with. Tweak it a little bit and then speed balance needs to come up a bit. And that can come a bit there. Okay. Tire choice. You're getting about 7 to 9 laps on the super softs and 10 to 12 on the soft. So 10 to 12 means we go in at lap 10, lap 20 and then finish. Okay, we'll go softs then. Three sets of softs for the race. Uh, we'll bring you down by three laps of fuel, which is going to save you um, about six tenths per second per lap. And then we'll set you up as well. You want your downforce maybe to be a little bit different. Your hand, well, your speed balance needs to be very, very different. And then your suspension stiffness can be that way as well. Okay, we want to go, of course, for softs as well. You could, you could actually go for three sets of supers. Because you're better on tyre wear. Uh, and then we'll do that. I think you've actually got a boost now, Gomez. Um, you use less fuel. I think. We'll see what happens. I'm sure we got that at the end of the last race, didn't we? So Gomez has started on the first row. I don't know why. Is it random? I don't understand how it works. But either way, let's, uh, let's watch Gomez go from second to last. He's had a good start. The person in third has had an awful start. And Gomez has had a decent start. He's pulling away. Alongside Barnacote. But he's going to get overtaken in the first corner, is he? No, but he's holding up. He's going to be good for Barnacote because he's going to hold a lot of these cars back. Anthony's down to 14th already. Gomez is down to 3rd. 4th. 5th. Yeah, he's going to get absolutely hammered here, is he? Let's speed the game up. He's down to 10th. 12th, 14th, 16th, 18th, 19th, 22nd. There we go. We're bottom two. No, we're not. There's well, someone below us. Zhu. Who's back up? Zhu must have had a problem of some sort. I'm not quite sure what happened. So Will Power got fastest lap and got himself up to second. Um, we did see New Garden started in the bottom five, I believe. And he's now himself up to 12th. So he's had a great start. Now we're going to get a chance to see... Of course, I think Gomez is going to do better than Anthony in this race as well because Gomez can go out on the super softs, whereas Anthony's going to have to go out on the softs, although they're wearing these tyres pretty quick and they do have to last 10 laps. Although we are three laps in already, so it's a very, very short circuit, this one, isn't it? Which is probably why we got lapped so many times in the first race of the season. We got lap I think we got lapped seven times, I'm pretty sure. It was something, something stupid like that. So if we can get by without having to do that, that'd be great. If we only get lapped five times, it's a, it's a big improvement than what happened last time. Gomez is catching up Jones who's, uh, I don't know why Jones is so slow to be honest with you, but I'm, I'm happy. Uh, and Anthony is losing Gomez. Anthony's like five seconds behind Gomez now. Gomez is ten seconds behind Jones and Bird's in the pit and ooh. Gomez and Anthony have got past him completely. I'm not quite sure why he's gone to the pit so early. Maybe uh, an issue. We had to change his tyres, but I think there was a few lockups, weren't there? A lot of people are using their tyres very, very quickly. We are not getting through them as quick. We are on lap 6 out of 31 already. And Gomez is not completely away. I mean, Gomez is ahead of Jones. 
Are we actually competitive with this? No. Nope. <laughs> okay, Jones is pitted, obviously, hasn't he? Um, Bird's behind us still as well. Bird had a bad time. Loose wheel nut. Oh, but he's right next to the pit. No, he's not going to make it into the pit, though. Now he's going to have to do an entire lap with that loose wheel nut. That's a bit of a bugger for him. So Gomez should be able to ease past. Well, he should be able to, but he's disappeared. How's he going so quick with a loose wheel nut? Come on, Gomez. Yeah, we're definitely doing better because we're eight laps in and we haven't been lapped yet, which is much better than what happened in the first race of the season. So we are definitely improved our car by quite a large amount, but it still needs to be a lot more work to be done. So we are on lap eight now. And we're about half a lap away from being lapped. So if we can just get lapped once or twice in this race, I'd be very happy. I know that sounds stupid, but if you've been watching the series so far, you'll know that that's very realistic with what's been happening. Right, so we are on lap 9. We want to get another lap out of this as well. So we want to get to the end of lap 10 before we do make the change. Um, I think Gomez is going to get the, the nod to go first and should actually be able to do so without holding Anthony up because of the 7 second gap. Yep, your tyres on as well. We know that. Um, Barnaco is going to be back past Anthony now. Okay, Gomez, so you've just got round. You're going on to lap 10. So at the end of lap 10, I want you to switch on to another set of super softs. And we don't need to repair any of your car as of yet. Okay, so Gomez, you come around and do that. And then Anthony, you shall do the same. You can come in at the end of this lap and put a set of softs on. And your car is okay. The rear wing's a little bit worrying, but... So next season should be very, very good for us because everyone's going to have a standard front wing, which is going to mean that we're going to be parable to everyone else. And then we're also going to have a situation where we're going to get more money, hopefully, as well. So we need to get Gomez's tyres fitted before Anthony gets there. Look at that. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. A new set of softs on Anthony as well, and both are back out on fresh sets of tyres. Fuel deltas are looking good. And we continue on. We have now been lapped, though. Have we been lapped? Yes, we've been lapped. Only by first and second, though. Uh, well, Anthony's been lapped by uh, fourth and fifth as well. But it's much better than it was the first time we were here earlier in the season. Much, much better. There's still a long way to go. We've been lapped. If we get lapped twice in this race, that will still be a lot better than what it was. And we can continue to improve. I think, like I said, if we can get the, the factory upgrade in the summer, if we get a nice amount of money for our final position, then we can get that big factory upgrade, which will be 10 million. It's going to cost a huge amount of money, but that 10 million is going to be really beneficial because it allows us to start to build better parts for our cars. And we can... It will allow us to build other stuff that will help us build. So we can get the test track, which is a further million on top. Then we will be able to uh, build a better engine. To be able to get to that next tier of benefits to the engine. Which will definitely make it a lot stronger, obviously. So let's um, start watching Gomez. I think he's the better one to watch. So Gomez is quite a chunk ahead of Anthony. Uh, Anthony's fuel delta is low. We know about that. Have we been lapped by everyone now? We're number, well, 22nd is coming up to lap us. Um, but Gomez is a fair chunk. He's 10 seconds ahead of Anthony. Once we get the other parts of the car improved, he's going to be a lot better as well. Of course, we will start to improve Anthony's car as well. We probably could start doing that now, but I'm just sort of holding off and just trying to save the money for the end of the season, see what it's going to give us. We've got one more race left after this, so... There's no real point in pushing too hard to get the parts built. Because ideally, we could actually get better parts if we can get the factory upgrade and so forth. Um, I don't know what it's going to do sort of mid-season. It's going to allow us to do the whole winter. If it does allow us to do the whole winter, that'd be great. Because then we can sort of invest and make things better throughout the summer. Of course, we're going to have to stick with Gomez and Anthony next season as well. We might as well. There's no point in getting better drivers. It's just going to cost us more money. And to be honest, we're going to get no real reward for it because the car's terrible. So we might as well wait until we've got a better car to be able to hire the better drivers. I mean, we're looking at like three-star, three-and-a-half-star drivers, hopefully, is going to be the plan. 
Do teams get promoted in this? Do you do you win F3 and then you get promoted up to F2? Is that how it works? I'm not sure, to be honest. I'm hoping so. I'm hoping you win F2, then you move up to F1. I'm hoping you win F3, then you can move up to F2. Uh, maybe not straight away. Maybe you can do F3 for like four or five seasons, then move up to F2, and then do that for a few seasons, then move up to F1. Maybe, I'm not sure. Who, go who, who goes? Who knows? Go on then, Gomez. Gomez is only four seconds ahead of Anthony now. Anthony's really starting to catch up, and they've both got their fuel delta looking a lot better now as well. Gomez is going on to lap 19 of his race, but I think that's going to be about time we change onto super softs because everyone else is on lap 21 anyway. Um, you could probably go to the end of the race with that without any problems. Anthony, we're going to let you go an extra lap because you're a bit too close to the back of Gomez, so you're going to have to end up sitting there waiting for him, I think. Or maybe not, because Gomez is pulled away. Yeah, there's like a five-second gap. It's probably not enough, is it? So both guys are having a terrible drive today. Uh, Anthony on a 3.7 rating, Gomez on a 4.1. So both their drives have been pretty poor today. Anthony, you can pit next round for some softs. And then we'll have to repair the rear wing. Yep. Anthony, we're doing that already. Gomez getting those fresh tyres. I'm doing the undercut on Anthony, so it would be interesting to see whether he can pull away. Of course, he was five seconds ahead of Anthony, so it would be interesting to see um, exactly what happens here. The interesting to see if the undercut is really going to benefit uh, Gomez if he comes out more than five seconds behind. Well, of course he's going to because Anthony has to have her rear wing repaired as well. Okay, here comes Gomez down the straight now. There's the overtake. And there's the rear wing. The rear wing? The rear wing repair as well. And that is going to allow... Pit ranking, 24th. So even our pits crew is the worst. So that's going to put um, yeah, Gomez firmly ahead now by is that 17 seconds. So that should do us now to the end of the race. Both these sets of tyres should last till then. We can probably go to a high engine mode just to push. Because we do have the fuel delta in our path now. So we probably push a little bit more. It doesn't make a huge amount of difference. But we are currently... Two or three laps behind? It's going to be three laps very, very soon as up comes in the first place. Look how quickly he just goes past us. One of the blades in the front wing seems damaged. Oh, come on, Gomez. We just have to ignore that, mate. You've got four laps or five laps remaining. If you could ignore that, that'd be great because I don't really want to bring you in and pit you again. Nobody has retired from this race at all, which is frustrating because we could do with the extra money. All right, let's keep going around then. Um, Anthony in 24th. Gomez firmly ahead in 23rd. Yeah, Gomez is definitely pulling away from Anthony. Is definitely the, the race pace is better on his car. But like I said, I think over the summer we can really start to develop some better parts, hopefully. And we can just get a better car all round, is the hope. Because this is going to be boring finishing bottom two. But we are getting close, so that's the main thing. I just want to see what we're going to get monetary-wise. And next season, if the prize money spread out better, then hopefully that will help us turn a profit each race. Then we can actually start to develop our car and become better. Ugh, front wing is struggling, but to be honest, mate, there's two laps remaining. Just see if you can survive. I mean, I know it's not ideal, but with two laps remaining, we might as well just go for it. I mean, I don't want you to retire, but... I'd rather not have to pit again with two laps. If it was like five or six laps, I would have done. But two laps, just hold on. Right, there's lap 30's begun. And we're on lap 27. That shows how far away we are, doesn't it? <laughs> They're three laps ahead of us. First place is coming up again. Uh, yep, sorry. I was wondering why it went slow for a second. Yep. First place is back on, so... We have to do another lap as well. I think we do have to do another lap once we get around here, don't we? So 20 seconds ahead then for Gomez over Anthony. I wonder what sort of difference it would make if we did get better drivers then. If we got like three and a half star drivers rather than the two and a bit star drivers, I wonder if that would make it better. I don't know what sort of level we're looking at for our, for our level as well. And there we go. 
Nope. Gomez's tyres are worn. I thought that was the end of the race. This is the final lap though, isn't it? Yeah. So final lap, here we go. Anthony and Gomez both over the line to finish off. And Power gets the victory once again. He's been fantastic, old Power. Power and Newgarden, definitely the two strongest in this division. Or this formula, or this level, whatever it's called. So there we go, another race, another disappointment. But um, it's expected disappointment. Like I said, it's going to take a couple of seasons, I think, before we even catch up with everyone else. Like I said, there's a lot of benefits for us next season, though. Two big votes have gone in our favour. Like I said, the front wing change, where everyone's going to get a standard front wing. And, of course, the financial change was going to be fantastic for us as well. Um, how far did we finish behind this time then? Come on. Oh, this is the actual... Oh, I've gone past it, haven't I? Um, okay, we're still bottom of constructors. Only two teams. Shabby Racing, I spend my money on your stupid hats and shirts and this is the best you've got. I know, I agree. I agree. Give us more money. Give us more money and I'll spend it. Right, so we'll see how we did profitability this weekend. I believe we're going to be losing another chunk of money because... We didn't meet our sponsorship objective. Um, anything here good? New unlock for Faith. You've got super overtake mode. An extra engine mode is unlocked. Super overtake, allowing even more power at the cost of a higher fuel burn. Ah, okay, that's not great. Um, I'm hoping some of these are going to go up soon as well. These stats. Uh, the chairman is 100% happy, so we're probably not going to get sacked, which is good. And we lost another half a million. So one more race, which means we should end up, if we lose another half a million, we should end up around about three and a half million left in the bank. So we'll see what our prize money is. In Formula 1 then, Bottas got the victory. Gasly in second, Vettel third, Hamilton fourth. That has allowed Vettel to catch up Gasly. Uh, catch up uh, Hamilton, just about only four points behind now. Such an interesting one, that isn't it? Bottas in third. Yeah, Verstappen, Leclerc and Gasly are nowhere near... Bottas is there really it's a three horse race probably a two horse race to be honest I think Bottas is a little bit too far away but there is still uh, I think two or three drives left uh, Mercedes are top of the constructors with Ferrari in second and Red Bull in third Renault in fourth okay so we're gonna call that in for the episode then I hope you have enjoyed this one of course if you have then please do hit a like and of course subscribe if you want to see some more New Garden is in control of our group anyway uh, we're Bird in second, but I think that's going to be it. I think New Garden's won this one, hasn't he? Power was fifth. Okay. Jones, I didn't even notice Jones had been doing so well. Where did he finish in this race? He finished bottom. Huh. He finished below us, too. I don't remember finishing. Hang on a minute. Why did he finish below us, too? He must have been cheating or something. Hmm. That's interesting. Anyway, yeah, if you have enjoyed this one, please do hit a like. Of course, subscribe if you want to see some more. We'll be back next time for the final race of the season, which will be very, very interesting to see how the season ends up and what sort of money we get. I've been Chappie Gamer, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.